awesome, absolutely awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. Definitely worth a look. The, um, yeah, it was well on par. Hello, how's everyone doing? So here we are, we're back with a new movie review, John Carter. Okay, Disney's John Carter, by the way. Based on a premise of the story known as John Carter of Mars, or Princess of Mars, however you want to put it. Now, the character itself, John Carter, is over 100 years old, as in the creation of the, car of the character, um, done by a guy called Edgar Rice Burroughs. And it's the movie is directed by Andrew Stanton, also stars Taylor Kish, Lynn Collins, Samantha Morton and Willem Dafoe and among a few other um, big name casts. Now um, let's see what do we have here now. The, um, the movie itself, you see this is what's interesting is that Andrew Stanton is the guy that directed Wally, Finding Nemo co-directed A Bug's Life as well so this guy is big in Disney okay um, he's directed this movie which Disney have been trying to take off for a long time it's a, it's a ma and it is a massive project and when you see the film um, it's a big big project 250 million dollars it cost as well so whoa a lot was riding on this um, but the story itself is based on a guy called John Carter who's transported from 19th century America to what we know as Mars but as the inhabitants of said planet know as Barsoom and they call Earth Jarsoom as well um, he, as I say, he, he transported to Mars uh, where he finds that A. he's able to defy their gravity and B his strength has also increased as well now the first thing I thought of when I you know sort of heard of that sort of premise was Superman um, because we know that Superman is from Krypton under a red sun he's just a normal Kryptonian but under a yellow sun he's got superpowers um, and it kind of makes me wonder if John Carter and Edgar Rice Burroughs creation of this character and the you know the, the story that he created around John Carter and you know the planets and the the characters and everyone based with, to do with John Carter is the reason we have the likes of Star, Star Wars and Superman and even Avatar um, when you watch the movie you'll, you'll see why because you've got these other characters um, who are these 12 foot green four-handed creatures um, who take John Carter sort of under their wing kind of thing but they actually treat him as well they obviously treat him as an outsider but they treat him as as a baby as such um, but quite aggressively and he still has no idea how he get he got to Mars um, he still thinks he's on Earth for, for, for quite a bit till he meets this gorgeous beautiful princess by the name of Dejar Thoris who's played by Lynn Collins um, interestingly enough Taylor Kish and both Lynn Collins are from X-Men Origins Wolverine if you remember um, Taylor playing Gambit and I forget who Lynn Collins played in Wolverine uh, Kayla Silverfox that was it um, so there they both are um, you know she's escaping the clutches of an evil um, like how should I put it I wouldn't call him a dictator as such but um, he's, he's, he's like a leader of such but he's he's actually being driven by another force and this other force is played by Mark Strong known as the Matai Shang and it's interesting how much influence the Matai Shang or the Thern as the collective group that the Matai Shang is with is known as um, the, the amount of influence that they have now it's quite interesting that the Matai Shang is aware of where John Carter is from um, as, the, as the film develops you'll see how and why he knows about John Carter and where he's from um, also it pays you've got to pay attention to how 
John Carter is transported to Earth as well. Um, the, 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 the we do have a character in the film called Edgar Rice Burroughs, but I'm not going to say anything further than that. It's just very interesting how the writer of John Carter is Edgar Rice Burroughs, and then you've got a character by the same name in the movie. But again, I'm not going to go into further into it without giving too much away. Um, so as I say. Um, John Carter is he the, the the character is seen as someone who is even though he's um, how should I put it it's difficult to actually really describe the character but um, he's from Virginia <laughs> he's um, He's been in the cavalry, so he was part of the the, the, the American like cavalry. Um, he's he was married, he's got a daughter as well. Um, but it's what is just so interesting about him is that despite the fact that he has lost so much, he is still able to find the courage to protect other people. Um, he doesn't like to protect other people, doesn't want to fight other people's wars for them but if he sees someone injured he will you know come to their aid as such um, what is interesting is that he, he 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 amasses a wealth because he's got a cave of gold and it's that cave again it bears it bears interest for you to pay attention during the film about this cave in particular um, as I say, if you've read the books, if you know of the character um, John Carter, you'll know exactly what I'm referring to, you'll know what I'm talking about. I am actually finding it difficult to really explain the whole movie and the story and also the character without giving so much away if you have not seen the film. I've never read any of the books, so this is the first time I even heard of the character John Carter. Um, I've seen his name dotted about in certain places, um, and particularly in the comic book world as well. And as I say, at the, as I said at the beginning of the video, it kind of makes you wonder if he was the reason, if Edgar Rice's, Rice Burroughs' creation of John Carter is the reason we have the likes of Star Wars, Superman, Avatar, all of those sort of science fiction type movies. Um, you know, um, like I say, you've got to watch the movie to really get a good understanding of it. Um, how it unfolds, the twist, the plot, and characters as well. It's just, it is unbelievable. Um, so yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. And I have to applaud Andrew Stanton on a mu monumentous effort because it wouldn't, it don't, it wasn't easy making this film because even um, Taylor Kish has even. Um, spoken of how he put himself pretty much through hell to um, to, to play the role of John Carter um, it's just yeah he's a civil as I say John Carter's a Civil War veteran and yeah you've just gotta really pay good attention to the movie um, it's just it's unbelievable so all I'm going to say is go and see the movie. If you've read the books, let me know what you thought of it. Between, if you compare the film to the books, obviously, and I know some people are going to say, "Oh, but this wasn't in the film. This, that, the other." Right? We know that movies are never always going to have everything that has been written in a book. <laughs> okay, so we've established that. But let me know what you thought. Um, my expectations of this movie to begin with were pretty low, um, but I've come out feeling like. This, this has opened the door kind of thing, it's opened a new world, it's opened a whole revelation of why we have what we have today um, in terms of science fiction and superheroes and you know other life forms on other planets and things like that so yeah well worth checking it out definitely so Andrew, Disney, thank you, well done well done to everybody involved in fact is all I'm going to say so um, yes well worth the watch let me know what you thought of it as well if you've seen it and um, brilliant apologies for the uh, slight 
mess of this review as I say it took me a while to really try and get my views across on this movie but um, I think I liked the superhero aspect of the movie more um, but I will say this if technology like that was available today I would so abuse it to no end <laughs> that's all I'm going to say um, it's just amazing how John Carter realises what happened to him and then how he took advantage of that and that's where Avatar comes in that's all I'm going to say thank you very much, see you later